Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week, our friend Ala Vizzle over at Colts 3D sent me the files for a new and improved TVR Cigars. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, about two years ago, this is the kit that brought me into the hobby of 3D printing. He had sent me the, the preliminary files and I, you know, but yeah, you just watch the video. It's my thoughts on 3D printing video. So it's finally finished and it's going to be in his calls 3D page now. Okay, so my friend Oliver from Olive Vizzle, he makes some great model cars on his cults page. He has the Vector W8 Twin Turbo, Ferrari 333 SP, Bach Mono, the Renault E Space, and an Aerial Atom. But what he sent me is a TVR Cigaris. And if you don't know what it is, Google it. Jeremy Clarkson on Top Gear drove one of these, and it's an amazing car. So this is a full model kit. Um, it, I'm sorry, it's a curbside model kit, and it has the two sets of wheels, all of the body parts, full interior. So let's get it in the slicer and take a look at it. We'll start with the body. It'll easily fit on the 10.1 inch Elegoo Saturn built print bed. But let's look at it a little close. Cool body shape. Look at that profile. Very, very cool. These built in supports. Um, to keep everything together on the print. So uh, let's uh, let's put it on some supports. But first, I want to rotate it, give it a little bit of angle. About uh, 13 degrees is my favorite, and we're gonna tilt it another 13 degrees, and then take a look at it to see if there's going to be any right angles. All right, so this is flat. So this panel here may be at risk for some lines. Uh, this panel here might be at risk of lines. I think we're pretty good here. Maybe here we'll get some print lines in it. But the main parts, you know, the hood, the top, the trunk, the doors, I think it's going to be fine. No print lines. So we'll go with that. We'll just sort of minimize where the print, print lines are going to be at. We'll go over to support it. I still have it set for a small scale, so we're going to go up to like a 2.1.21. And hit auto support, see what happens. Okay. Let's uh, just turn them off so that we just see the stubs of where it's going to be. We'll flip it over and see where the red spots are going to be. I don't see a whole lot of supports in here, so I'm going to add a few heavies to uh, make sure it's anchored down. Like here, here, here. You've seen me do this before. Just adding heavy supports to just make sure that this thing isn't gonna move and will reduce the amount of Z shift.
I'm going to cut away all of this on the finished model anyways, so I don't care if there's any heavy marks on it. All right, so now I think I've got a good, stable print. Let me put a few up here. Keep the hood from uh, the top from moving around. And maybe a couple here. All right, I think I got a good stable print here. I'm going to throw a few more pieces in here too. Maybe some wheels and tires. All right, here's some tires. This is a 19 inch. We also have 18 inch rear. and 18 inch front, so they're staggered. All right, so we'll make a copy of this one. And then I think this is the, yeah, this is the rear. So we'll make a copy of that one too. And then we'll make three copies of the 19s. That ought to do it for this sprint. So I'm going to angle all of these. Can't see that. Let's do this one. Rotate it at about 13. That's what I like. And then another 13 this way. faster way to do this is to do one and then just copy. Okay, now that I got all that, we will select them all, unselect the body, and support all of these. That looks like a pretty good print right there. Oop, looks like we're off the build plate there. Gotta stay within the lines. I could probably put a few more things on here, but that's okay. Select them all, and we'll slice it. Back 
I have this set at uh, 2.5, um, 0 0.025 uh, resolution and um, 2.4 second exposure time. Looks like it's going to be eight hours and two minutes for this print. So we'll go ahead and save it. And this is round two. We have the wheels, the wipers, the seats, the interior tub, the door panels, everything, the brakes. So just about everything else is on here. And we'll slice this up and see what we got. And here, my friends, is the finished kit. Like I said, it's a curbside kit, so there's no engine, there's no real chassis detail at all. But the parts that are here, spectacular. So the printing worked out well. I don't see any layer lines. do have a small spot right there to fix a little putty. Got a slight faint of a Z shift right here, but I think with a sanding and primer that'll all go away. Yeah, you can see it continued up here just a little bit. No big deal. Um, the supports down through here helped out a lot. Keep it all cemented. This will take a little bit of work to sand out, but it's on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, this really came out really well. Let's take a look at some of the other parts. So the interior, he threw a couple of Easter eggs in here. It's a little wrench in the corner, and there's a little mouse in the corner over here. You'll never see them on the finished car, but kind of fun. The gear shifter is there and TVR floor mats. There's even bolt detail through here on the package shelf. Comes with a small roll cage, a little bar. Seats just sit flat. Which actually, the seats are nice. Even the backs are have a little pattern to them. The uh, si the Elegoo Space Gray did a good job of bringing out all the little details. It's nice and smooth. This is almost uh, primer ready. As far as dashboard is concerned, has turn signal stalks, it's got buttons, it's got button detail, even the uh, stereo has details on it. Yeah, the 8K resin really pulls this kind of stuff together. Very nice. These are door panels. Ew, looks like I didn't clean that very well. Hmm. Good look at this speaker. Brakes. Nicely detailed. Two steering wheels. This one actually says TVR in the center. This one does as well. The wipers did print nicely. And they're not so delicate that they're going to fall apart or break. These are to support the rear spoiler, which is actually a clear piece. So I'll thermo print, thermo form those, the windows and the spoiler for this one. Um, wheels. So these are the 18 inch 
and they do say a TBR in the middle, the valve stem. And then these are the 19 inch wheels. Very, very nice. So like I said, I did print the 18 inch staggered front and rears and the full 19s. Oh, wait, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. This is an antenna. So you'll drill a hole in the, uh, the top of the car for it. But yeah, I'm surprised this is printed tiny. And this is a uh, boot, boot uh, handle. Oh, another little thing. TVRs don't have door handles. They have door lock solenoids. So this little button on the bottom of the mirror is a solenoid. So you press this and the door pops open. This is our exhaust system. So it just slides through the back of the body. So it just slides through the back of the body. But I didn't show you that. It does say Cigaris here, and it does say TVR over here. It pays to watch till the end of the video because I printed this kit for one of you. So I'm going to give away the printed kit that I've shown you today. Um, I will print the windows for it. I will print the spoiler and uh, baggy form them, and uh, I'll be sending it to one of you. So what I need you to do is leave a comment below, and I don't wanna be, you know, like, win this and, I, and the thumbnail, because I'm gonna do, we'll just get a bunch of people on there that don't really care about the channel, they just wanna win something. So what I want you to do is leave a comment below to say, I love Oliver's work, or I'd love to have a Savigaris, or something vague, but not, I'd love to win, because I don't want people to think, oh, I need to watch the whole video to find out something about win, because you know, people are people. So anyways, leave me a vague comment about how you'd like to win this, and uh, I'll throw your name in the hat for it. Let's say December 15th. December 15th, I will pick a winner for the kit, and I'll put a video up, and uh, good luck. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video. You still here? Go ahead and order yourself a t-shirt, hit the subscribe button, and watch the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.